when I, while I was listening to your questions, I, I also realized that I was listening to uh, these, this, this music going on over here uh, somewhere in the distance and, and it was a, a great reminder of, in a way, what we are doing with Massive Vibe Live. We see that music actually, uh, it, it, it just has a natural way of getting out there. Regardless of whether you press play or not, you, you find yourself listening to music. You find yourself being encountered by music throughout your day. And, and, and that's very, very easily exhibited here in, in India where the walls are paper thin, probably. Uh, it, well, for some people around here where you have uh, uh, maybe not so many uh, dividers between this and that. And you can hear everything. You just hear everything naturally. And, and that's what I see is so powerful about what we are doing and how we are speaking up. We see that there's this natural, um, this natural contagiousness about music we are tapping into and being able to share how each and every one is, is, is really made of awesome. And what does being made of awesome actually, actually mean? We can see and directly experience and, and we do that by just, I mean, I mean, really, just look at your own experience right now. Look at your direct experience right now. Have the worst thought you could possibly have right now. Ready? Are you, are you having it yet? Okay, one, one two, three, go. Are you doing it? I can't tell really. Why? Because we see that thoughts, they just, they have no power in, in and of themselves. Their definition, you really can't find that negativity if you really look for it, that negative description. It spontaneously releases before you can even go looking for it, naturally like the flight path of a bird in the sky. So naturally we are made of awesome. Everything about us, all of our descriptions, we don't have to do anything about ourselves. We don't have a project to do. We don't have a mind to build or deconstruct or rearrange or change. It's naturally made of awesome. So again, looking at your experience, you can see that actually we can't hold to the negative, we can't hold to the positive descriptions. We see that there's this natural expanse, this just field of brilliance, basically. A field of brilliance, and we tap into that short moments, many times. You'll hear an instruction in Balanced View called short moments of open intelligence many times. And open intelligence is just that that, that, that you've been introduced to. If you stop thinking right now, you can recognize it. There's this field of brilliance still there, ever present, blazing, clear. What's hearing these words? What's hearing the music? What's hearing the, these, this, this voice? What's seeing these images? What is looking in your experience? What is looking? We can't find a description. You can speak all day to me about it but it's your direct experience that matters. So again, we use short moments of open intelligence to really directly experience uh, open intelligence in everyday life, not separate or apart from any of your thoughts, emotions or sensations. And thoughts and emotions and sensations we just neatly term data. So as we go throughout our day, I mean, my experience was that no matter how smart I got at understanding the nature of mind, I thought I was getting pretty smart at that. And no matter how much I had read and no matter how much uh, I had collected intellectually, they all, it all seemed to be great for 
momentary lapses, really. Momentary periods. I could think my way into being relaxed and then I would be lying in bed at night and all of a sudden there, there was money concerns. Okay, I'm here now for a few hours thinking about money. I knew that. So yeah, I would just do something because I knew that, okay, I'm not going to be able to get to sleep now. Uh, there were worries and co constant worrying about uh, how to rearrange my thoughts, basically. What am I going to do about these thoughts? Where did that positive state go? Where did that... Uh, where is that technique that I had managed to really, you know, think my way into some pleasantness? So all of my uh, intellectual ideas and my uh, ability to, con to comprehend the nature of mind, it, it got me nowhere, really. It got me some way. But what we offer here is a complete support network to implement open intelligence into your everyday life. To really directly experience how every aspect or throughout our day that we are constantly in this field of brilliance, this being made of awesome is obvious and true that we know that about us without, like we, like we know our name or recognize our own face when we look at it in the mirror, without doubt. Short moments repeated many times of open intelligence, repeated naturally throughout our day, leaves us without doubt of, our, of the nature of our mind. It leaves us without doubt, even in doubt, why? Because that instinctive, felt, deeply felt sense that we are just brilliant, totally brilliant, that there's this brightness about us regardless of whatever description, it becomes so clear and obvious. Like the sun naturally rises, outshines all planets and stars, this is what we see, how effortless open intelligence outshines all of those data throughout our day. There's no worrying, no thinking, or no concerns needed to get that sun up every morning. Don't worry, it's okay. <laughs> It'll come up tomorrow, hopefully. <laughs> but what is certain is that you don't have to do anything about it. <laughs> The nature of reality is just so completely spontaneous and, and so there's, there's nothing about us. I, I would love to have contrived a speech for you this morning, <laughs> but doing this many times now I started to see that even my best efforts of contriving never worked. I forgot it as soon as I came up here. Or and so I took the e easy approach of just not thinking about it and relying on open intelligence. Seeing that no matter what, uh, no matter what is occurring throughout our day, we can't get out of this spontaneous, uncontrived brilliance. Everything resting perfectly just as it is. And it's so much more fun as well to see that actually we, we can just live from day to day without a care or worry, deeply trusting and relying on open intelligence. We do that and become assured of that through short moments. It's very simple. It's, it's so completely, completely simple. So very, very simple that I, I really wanted to, to complicate things, just to 
feel like I was doing it right, feel like I'm, I'm getting somewhere with this, when really the reminder is relax, rely on open intelligence, already totally open. What about your experience is not open? Mind is naturally open and it's synonymous with the sky. There's nothing in the sky that you can close down, confine, define. And so we come to know this about the nature of our mind and the nature of our experience directly. So when we think about money, there's, uh, that's just, wow, there's, there is no end to that. I know that in my experience. There is no end to thinking about money. I, I get a lot of money, great, wow, that's so amazing. I, I, this happened to me, great. I, I, I got a, a large sum of money and I'd just been a student having no money for a long, long time and I got a large sum of money. Wow, all of my worries and concerns are are gone. <laughs> and they were for a week or uh, actually I think it was only a few, few days. And then what was the next worry? It, it, was, it was a worry even worse than having no money. How can I keep this money in place? How can I make it so that I never have to feel that worry again of not having money? <laughs> it's, it's getting less, my bank account, wow, oh no. It's going back to how it was. And, and it was a profound experience because I was relying on open intelligence. I was relying on my trainer on short moments, on the community of support, on the trainings provided. They're the four mainstays, by the way. And uh, I was relying on all four mainstays and seeing naturally how wild and uncontrol uncontrollable these data streams are, how it's totally impossible to contrive or set in place a sense of well-being from the, the vantage of descriptions, from relying on definitions about, from relying on, on collecting positive data. So money concerns come up. I can't tell you anything other than short moments. Rely on the Four Mainstays. I'd love to give you a secret hidden, hidden, hidden tool of, uh, I don't know, some kind of technique to keep money in your pocket, but that would be just totally ridiculous. Here's your technique to keep, keep uh, I'll give you a technique to keep ultimate, ultimate wealth short moments many times. That's the only practice, really, relying on short moments of open intelligence. And we see that everything is totally rich and abundant in our direct experience. And I know that uh, there are practical things to look at. And they are, they are attended to moment to moment. How? We see what is of most benefit in each situation. We look at our situation and we see, okay, I rely on open intelligence. How can I be of, of greatest benefit? What is of most benefit in this situation? Is it of greatest benefit to spend the next 15 minutes of my time um, uh, negotiating uh, monetary 10 rupees, about 10 rupees? <laughs> Will that be uh, a good use of my time, maybe? Or maybe not. In fact, here's 20. <laughs> <laughs> moment to moment we see just naturally and with no extremes needed, just what is of most benefit by relying on open intelligence for short moments many times. <laughs> 